Yo, 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 what's up traders? This is a special episode of Daily Forex Market Analysis because for the past few days, it's right now it's Wednesday, uh, the, the 12th of June, and I, I haven't got any action this week, but this today, I got, I, I was eyeing up one trade just recently, I backtested the Euro dollar trend strategy and I just got the opportunity to get involved with it. It has skewed risk to reward, I'm risking around 1% for a possible gain of 5%. So this trade alone can get me out of the drawdown. So I want to show you my entire analysis on this pair alone and why I decided to take a short position. Where is my stop loss and where is where are my targets, okay? As you can see on a euro dollar, basically on a daily, let it load, let it, lo let it load. On a daily, you can see that we are kind of in a bearish movement. And uh, since we breached the previous structure right there, we were kind of moving bearish. So these are kind of the lines, okay? So we move down, new low, pull back, new low, pull back. Uh, where is the low? I believe this was the low, and now we are making a pullback. Okay, that's a, let's see, let's just see something. I just gotta verify something right here. Uh, yes, we did not make, yes, so this is a pullback, and now we got a low. No, 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 I'm mistaken. This is a new low. Yep. This is a new low, and now we got another pullback, another low, double top, and a rally up. But this is a double, uh, not double top, double bottom actually. So this is uh, on a, per my back testing, I found that we did, when we did, when we do retest the double, and make double bottom uh, or double top, it still doesn't matter for me. Okay, so I'm still looking for a short opportunity. Some traders are finding this as a, something that uh, the move has been violated and the price action has already tested this level, which is kind of true, but I haven't found uh, enough evidence. I didn't see anything, so uh, it's not uh, my results. Even if I take another short positions here, like in this example, I would uh, usually be uh, uh, more winning trades. I would usually get more winning trades than losing trades. So uh, let's get on our four and let's do the same uh, analysis of the markets, like the market movements. Let, let it just load. It's kind of loading, loading slowly. I don't know why. As you can see on our four, we also have, uh, we had actually low here. Like if you're following this low here, pull back another low and a pull back, but we did not violate this here because of a VIC. So let me remove the lines from the daily. Lines from the daily. Okay, we don't need more lines than this. Okay, I can move all of this stuff here. Yeah, so we don't need, we did not close above this week, as you can see here. So the uh, outside return hasn't been violated, meaning that we are still in a bearish trend. Now, when we're making new lows, we made a new low here. Then what we did is we, and we didn't, and then we retested it here, as you can see. That's the double bottom that you see on a daily. We retested it here and rallied up. However, we did make a double top here. And exactly that double top right there was my entry position. Because and my short, and my stop loss was ATR uh, roughly 40 pips above this candle right here above the highest of the highest point of this double top, and my take profit level was uh, four pips uh, uh, above this the lowest close of this candle in this section here as you can see, so four pips above, and that's my analysis. So as you can see, the uh, previous pullback is all the way here. Okay, if we violate this, then we will be in a bullish trend on our four and on the, uh, exa exactly in a rotation on our four, not a bullish trend. And if we and I I will get stopped out 40 pips above this high. I want to show you this trade on my actually trade on the broker. As you can see, we were making lower, low, 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 lower lows on our four. Here is how the trade actually looks like. As you can see. This is a double top that I got engaged in. This is my stop loss, 54 pips above. So risking around 1.1% roughly for a possible gain of take profit level number one is 199 pips, almost 200 pips. As you can see, the lowest close is here. It's four pips above it. 
five, okay, I'm front running a little bit. And then target two is the extension of 1.27 from the last pullback, okay? So what I did for the extension, the last pullback we said is this here level, right? So I took the extension tool, I dragged it, moved it here, and the 27 uh, falls right here, four, four pips roughly above the extension is my target two. So the complete trade, this one, it has a possible, has a possibility to gain me over 500 pips uh, or making me, what, 130 euros, which would of course get me out of my drawdown and in a 2% in a profit. And this is what trading is all about about having good risk to rewards and this strategy by the way and a good winning rate so that means that i can try this strategy for like five to six times and if only one of those uh this kind of skewed risk to rewards trades wins i will make up for all of the losers so incorpor incorporating this kind of a risk to rewards uh, trading style into my already existing uh, harmonic pattern style will significantly help with my winnings and with my profits at the end of the year. I'm hoping for this trade to win, of course, to get me out of the drawdown and to see how will this year end. I just wanted to record this in a video in case I do win. I, I will definitely do a uh, follow-up video. In case that I lose, I will probably do a follow-up video as well. But I wanted to share this with everybody so that you can see that I actually took a trade and I'm going to hold it. So either I'm going to lose this or either I'm going to win on this position. We will see what's going to happen. Okay, so with that being said, I want to thank you for sticking until the end of this video. Make sure if you like this kind of a content to click that like button. Also consider subscribing and do this on a daily basis when we get some kind of an action like this, like some kind of a trade. And click that like button, you know, leave a comment below, share a video and let's help as many people as possible uh, soaking this kind of a content and so that you can see what a professional traders do and how do they approach your market each and every day thank you very much guys and speak to you soon bye bye